Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're doing our second retail break of 2020 Bowman. We have two blaster boxes, two value packs or cello packs, and then two of these fat packs. So we got a total of six products that we're going to be breaking or six types of Bowman products. So let's get into it. Hopefully we can pull something nice. Our last break uh, our first break of this, I should say, which was our last one of retail, was pretty decent. We had a green auto out of that, so go check that one out. I guess I'll get into it here. I've heard some people say that these are their favorite or the best, these hanger packs. Um, we haven't really opened enough to give a firm um, voice on that, I guess. Um, I would say that these are halfway decent, just in the fact of the amount of chromes that you get. There's a nice Robert. Robert. Robert, <laughs> I said Robert for years. It's hard to break that. Yeah, I know other people have too. There's a trout and Lindor. You get a lot of chrome out of here. We haven't hit any color or anything like that, but the odds are pretty tough. We did hit that. one color out of one of those hangers. Did we? Backs. I don't want to hang this back. Okay, it was like a green paper of yeah. uh, Tim Anderson or something. So, so I stand corrected, but that's about it. Uh, but you do get a lot of chrome cards. So if you're chasing, you know, chrome, that may be a good way to go. I'd say those are actually the best way. So you get the same amount of chrome in those as you do in these. So. Yeah, and you pay a lot less. Yeah, so. exactly. They were six fifty, I believe, a pack, and then these are eleven dollars. The cello packs. And Dylan Carson, no first in that one. We haven't found any more Bowman, uh, so we actually did buy some from somebody on Instagram, and they shipped out some blasters to us. So that was, we worked out a deal with him. So thank you. Uh, but we haven't found it in our retail stores yet. We're going to check again this week. Here's a purple. Purple paper, it looks like. Of Grant Levigny or Levinge or something. Out of 250. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he um, makes YouTube videos as well. I think it's Top of the Mitt and Sports Cards is his top channel. Top of the Mitt. Yep. Or top of the Mitt, yeah. yeah. Um, so you can check him out. Um, super nice guy. Sold us um, some Bowman at a great price, so... See next pack here. Not expecting much out of this, just cause got the parallel. There's a nice Bo Bichette rookie. Uh, Nolan Gorman insert. Nate Pearson, Cal Mitchell, and Alex Tomas, Thomas, and Matt Chapman. Do we have the knife in here? Here be the knife. I think the knife needs a new blade. You literally did not cut it. Yes, I guess it does need a new blade. It does, very badly. Or just <laughs> needs to be flipped around. Anyway, uh, blasters, we actually, have we even hit anything like decent out of blasters yet? I don't no. think we have. I don't even think we've gotten a numbered card or anything. Um, I don't think so. Because we got, we pulled that green auto out of a cello pack, right? We've only opened up two blasters, though. Yeah, that is fair. true. Yeah, we've only opened up two. So that's not a very good representation. No. Not a very good sample size, so... Ooh, nice. That's, That's cool. a nice one. Top yeah. 153, Jason Dominguez. That's pretty sweet. Joe Adele, Zach Thompson, Robel, Anthony K. So, let's see. It's the 28th of May. Have you guys found more Bowman restocked in your stores, or has it not yet been restocked? We're hoping that it will be by us because... If it's only one round, it's sure going to be short nice. printed. There's yeah. a Bobby Witt for That's a good one. Yeah, it definitely will be. I think they will restock again. There's some stores that haven't even stocked yet. Right, they right. Haven't stocked any yet by us. So hopefully we will be able to find some more. Because um, it is not a bad, it's a fun rip for the price considering how expensive the hobby boxes are. You still, there's a nice Bobby Witt paper too. You still have a chance at, um, you know, some nice stuff. Sam Huff first. Right, and it just takes one card, obviously. Yeah, and stuff. I mean, there's good paper autos. I saw Bobby Witt's paper autos. I was looking at his pricing. Some of his paper colored autos are selling for pretty solid money. So yeah, you know, a couple hundred bucks. So and then you get these Chrome cards, and if you grade them or whatever, sit on them, wait till they get called up. They could be obviously big cards. Joe Adele, Joey Bart, nothing in there. Got two more packs out of this blaster. Two more packs. Looking to see if we can get some beef, maybe. That'd be sweet. Um, Use Neil Diaz. There's a Wander. Alex Tomas. Nice. There we Tomasin. go. 
uh, first. If you haven't seen our video of Hobby, check that one out. Uh, that was one of the biggest pulls we ever had on our channel. The biggest, monetar monetarily speaking. Jordan on Alvarez, rookie. I actually contacted him on Instagram, sent him a picture of the card, and I actually had a conversation with him for a little bit. He's a super nice guy. Pawson. Um, Pawson, yeah. I asked him if he would want to do an interview on our channel, and he doesn't speak very good English, so it didn't work <laughs> out. But um, still a really nice guy. Um, a lot of times you don't really get responses with those type of things. I don't really send much that often to that kind of thing, but just decided to, and he thought it was cool, so... Did you show him a picture of the card? Yeah, I saw a picture yeah. of the card. And I was like, hey, just want to let you know that the last one of these sold for $2,500. All right. So let's see what we got out of this hanger pack. There's a Taylor Trammell. Wasn't he call, or wasn't he originally with the, I want to say the Cincinnati Reds? I think so, too. Uh, another first. Uh, Zach Thompson. Hunter Bishop. Daniel Lynch and Joe Ryan first. So you're looking for the first. Here's the symbol up there saying it's their Bowman first. Uh, here's the back of the, the card in case you haven't seen the backs. I like the design this year. Um, a nice look. There's a Yamamoto and then Otani in Urena. So on to the cello pack. These will run you $11. I believe both Walmart and Meyer by us now have them at 11. I think they're 10.98. Uh, I know in basketball they really cranked up the prices on some of these things. The mosaic stuff was even more. Uh, but it used to be that Walmart was a little bit cheaper, Meyer was a little bit more. Now I think Walmart's blasters are cheaper, but their cello packs are the same. Uh, here's Shortridge. I was That's talking first. to um, his name is Chase. I, he has a YouTube channel too. I can't. I think it's like Chase's autographs or something. It's something like that. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. Um, but he had contacted me, sent me a picture. He said that he bought a single Bowman blaster off of his buddy, and he sent me a picture of what he got. And he pulled the Dominguez Green Shimmer That's autograph nice on card autograph from Chrome. And I looked that card up. The last, like the one, the last one sold for something like. Uh, three thousand dollars or something Gee, out of a blaster. yeah it's crazy it is crazy uh damon jones first yeah, all right so let's see what we get out of this yeah stuff is crazy yeah, i mean obviously to hit that one they only made 99 of them so that's a super tough pull but that's what you get in retail the chance of something big like that compared to spending 300 bucks or more for a hobby box here's a Talent Pipeline, Robert, Vaughn, and uh, Adolfo, Adolfo, I don't know how you say his name, uh, Vargas, Lewis, Gill, and here's, we got, a, what was that, Atomic of him, yeah. of Hill Jr., Xander Bogarts, and Acuna. All right, on to the blaster box. So nothing too crazy out of this break so far. Yeah, but kind of a slow start so far. From what we've seen from retail, it's definitely not... Mind-blowingly. <laughs> mind, good. Right, it's not like you're going to buy two packs and every pack is going to have you know gold in it. No, so. if you think about it, $300 for a hobby box, that's uh, 15 blasters. So out of 15 right. blasters, you probably will hit something at least halfway decent, you know? So here you have in here um, 72 cards in a box and then 12 cards in a pack. And you get your five packs plus your extra packs. So let's count them. You get one, two, three, four, five, and this is your extra. <laughs> I still don't know why they do that. I think somebody said it once. I know that. Why, it's, marketing. it's just marketing, <laughs> making you think you're getting more than you really are. And it must somehow they must say it works or think it works all right or even if it doesn't work it might work on something like high percentage there's still like that two percent that i'll see it and be like Ooh, i'm gonna buy it these are from the what 90 90 bowman right i think so yeah so that's the throwback one there hopefully we can get a back I'd like to, to back see a gill paper auto that'd be cool 
Yeah, that would be or cool. A green Chrome Auto, but I guess Yamamoto and Otani are back to back in the retail because it's the second time I pulled the Yamamoto, and right behind it is the Bowman is usually really repetitive. Yeah, like really, really repetitive for the most part. Here's a talent pipeline of Franco, uh, Paddle, and whoever this guy is. Um, these some of these names are definitely not familiar. That's because it's mostly international. Yeah. They do all the international signing after the draft. There's so. Wander Franco. There's a Jacob Amaya, first. His Riley Green. A one of one autograph. And Vlad Guerrero. So, yeah, we won't try to say some of these names because yes, a lot of them are international. Not familiar with them, and. We apologize if we're making your ears bleed due to pronunciation errors. Oops. Kettle Marte, there's a Danson Brown for uh, Canada. Dason. Dason. Dason, not Danson. There's no N besides nope. at the end. There's another Jacob Amaya on paper. And a Zach Brown, Jack Flaherty. Alex Young and a Nick Solak rookie. It's been slow. The Bowman Blasters is our fourth one now, and we still haven't really hit much out of them. But it seems to be like one every five or six, you get something decent, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. We haven't hit, uh, yeah, retails. I mean, we hit that one, but that's the way retail is, though. Sometimes you don't hit anything for a while, and all of a sudden you hit a bunch of packs that are, or at least a few packs that are decent. If there's anything in here you guys see that you're looking for, and like to purchase off of us, let us know. We'll be willing to work out a deal with you. Um, as long as it's not something we're already trying to collect. But yep. if we are definitely looking to move some of the stuff. So let us know. Um, uh, Seth Brown. There's a Shane Bieber. And a Gavin Lux rookie favorites. So it's a nice looking card. It's cool. And on to the Chrome, see if we can pull any big names. And no first in there. So Bryce Harper on to the last pack. See if we can pull anything out of this last pack. All right, there's Cody Bellinger, Jeff McNeil, Fernando Tatis Jr. And it's a goal insert. There we go. Dustin May. It's gold, so what is this gonna be number two? Fifty. Flipper around. Look at the front. Oh, it's right there. I missed it. Why do I always look on the back? I have no idea. Five of 50. So there we go. Five of 50. That's actually a very nice looking card. That's I like these sweet. inserts. Yeah. So that's a nice uh, looking card. So we did get something out of there, but not. it's not really what you're looking for as far as prospects go. So there you have it. Uh, a retail rip. You know, that let once again, you know, think about that. We just opened up two blasters, two cellos, and two of the hanger, the fat packs, and didn't really pull much. So don't think by spending double the price in the secondary market you're going to get much. Now, we no. could have gotten a lot out of this, but this break we didn't. So, you know, you just use that as a judge, as a gauge. We'll do more breaks like this. We have more uh, Bowman to break. So we'll do more, and we'll see if we do better next time. But, you know, just... Take that as a word of caution. You're not always going to pull big names. We did pull a lot of Bobby Witt stuff out yeah, of this. Another way to think about it, too, is that that's like roughly $80 in retail after your tax and stuff, um, which is, you know, close to what now their prices, like blowout pricing, which I'm not saying blowout is the ultimate price guide. You can definitely find stuff cheaper than there. But by their prices is like a fourth of a hobby box. So right, exactly. It's a way. It's a much more affordable rip. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, please do. Uh, and yeah, like Luke was saying, it's you know if co hobby compared to retail. Retail is going to uh, definitely give you more bang for your buck as far as the amount of packs ripped and all that. So yeah, for sure. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what your favorite card was out of this break. And have you found Bowman Retail? If so, what have you uh, picked up and what have you found in your uh, pack ripping? Let us know. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun collecting.